Russell Wright was born on the 3rd of April 1904 in Lebanon, Ohio. Wright grew up in a historical old American family where his father and grandfather were local judges and his mother had direct ancestry with two signers of the Declaration of Independence. Following his family traditions, Wright started as a law student at Princeton University. After spending summer in the art colonies in Woodstock, New York, he decided his future was in the field of art. Between 1921 to 1939, Wright studied at multiple schools. He was a student under Frank Duvendeck at the Cincinnati Academy of Art, a law student at Princeton, a student at the Columbia School of Architecture, and a student at New York University School of Architecture. During the one year he spent at Princeton, Wright accomplished numerous Tiffany & Co awards for outstanding World War I memorial sculptures. This led to a job offer in 1924 as a set designer for Norman Bel Geddes. His involvement with the theatre directed future work with George Cukor, Robert DeMont Jones, Lee Simonson and Reuben Mummelin. Unfortunately, at the end of 1927, Wright lost his communication with the theatre when it became foreclosed by George Cukor, an American film director. However, during his time in Woodstock, he met his wife, Mary Small Ernston, a designer, sculptor and businesswoman. Collectively, the two went on to form Wright Accessories. The company produced home accessories created by cast metal and spun aluminium. In 1941, they received their first award, the American Designers Institute Award for the Best Ceramic Design of the Year for their art piece, American Modern. In the year 1950, the couple conceived their first child, Annie. This was a big year, looking after their firstborn, but also the production of the pair's first book, the best-selling guide to easier living. The book illuminated different styles for houses, but also how to reduce housework and increase leisure time. Great loss came in 1952 when Wright's beloved wife passed away, leaving him to raise their daughter on his own. Wright spent 10 more years in the design field before retiring to his 75-acre estate in Garrison, New York. During those 10 years, he received a Holmes Fashion League's Trial Glazer Award for upholstery fabric and table design, became the President of Society of Industrial Design, and received an award from the Chamber of Commerce from Lebanon. Once Wright retired to Monitoga, his daughter Annie continued the family business managing new designs and products through his studio. Die to Ram's Principles of Good Design What makes Russell Wright's designs is its simplicity. The use of organic curved lines and earthly tones illuminates the functionality of the product. The minimalistic design is timeless. Although the shapes are simple, it is still aesthetically pleasing to the eye, making it suit any style of home, even in today's society. What targeted towards a consumer was the interchangeable colours. These sets consisted of six softly vibrant colours, meaning it would suit anyone's home. This collection resulted into 14 million pieces sold worldwide. Wright's choice of materials makes his art piece long-lasting, to be able to keep for generations to come. The use of ceramics means it is a tough material. It is made to be stacked without breaking, chipping or fading over periods of time. The ceramic ware has also been coated with an earthenware glaze to strengthen and protect the product. When looking at Wright's designs, it doesn't confuse you. The simplicity of the design illuminates what you see is what you get. If anything, Wright has exaggerated elements in his design to be more recognisable to the consumer. The elements he has exaggerated have even made the design more functional. Wright has done this with the jug, where he has included a teardrop shaped pitcher and an elongated spout. In this teapot design, 
he has created a bigger handle to create less risk of burning yourself from the boiling water. In 1937, there wasn't anything like what Wright had created. He was one of the first to step away from plastic and create a modern revolutionary design. The dinnerware was inexpensive, allowing anyone during this time to be able to afford it for their house. His designs were unique, using biomorphic forms that are still sold to this day by Bauer Pottery. Wright's design is based on its functionality. As well as being aesthetically pleasing from the soft earthly colour palette, it had to excel in its purpose. His ceramic plates lifted around the edges to create a shield so no food would fall off, as well as being spacious, allowing a lot to fit on it. From looking at Dieter Ram's Principles of Good Design, it has made me realise for my own work to keep it simple and have as little design as possible. By doing this, it illuminates design even more, making it memorable to an audience. In the future, I wish to use Ram's principles as a checklist to try and create the best design I can.